Well, hey guys and gals, it's Hex, and today it is episode 27 on the Blockhead server. 27, that's pretty cool. Um, today what we're doing is we're up on the plateau, up above our city, or our town, or village, or whatever you want to call it, in front of the castle, and what I wanted to do up here is I wanted to trigger scout mode so I could show you what I wanted to do up here. <laughs> Whoa, my shader's tripping out. Okay, anyway, what I wanted to show you guys was up here what I wanted to do is I wanted to build a series of several larger houses that would be like noble houses, like houses of like nobility, mansions, manors, that sort of thing. And so what I've done is I've laid out a little bit of a house here. Uh, I need to change it and alter it because I can already see some problems with it. But uh, basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a couple of larger houses, maybe one, two, three, maybe, maybe three to seven, depending on how much space we have and how much, uh, ooh, <laughs> that's really weird with the shaders. <laughs> anyway, depending on how much um, like space we have up here and stuff. Uh, because what I wanted to do was to create this area that was in front of the castle that was like um, more like nobility or lords or uh, people like that who are up here. And then what I wanted to do is make sort of more the like shopping, like middle class district down here, and then sort of the commoner area across our bridge that we built in the last episode. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and start work on this house right here. But what I have in mind is this right here, where basically it's going to be a large tower in the center, and then off to one a small branch in the front, and then a branch over there, um, we're going to have the rest of the house. So it's going to kind of be sitting like this. I don't know if every single house is going to be like that, but I think that this one would work well that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get my, um, my replay mod working and go ahead and do a little bit of a time lapse on this house and kind of lay it out. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a time lapse. I know that was kind of fun to make. 
Um, I haven't done a time lapse in a very long time. We will do more short, shortly. But I just wanted to stop for a second to bring up a couple of things. Number one, I'm really happy about the way that this looks so far. I think it's looking really good. Uh, the second thing is I wanted to explain a couple of things. So first of all, this guy right here, this tower in the front, that's actually going to be a tower that's going to be similar in style to one of these towers on our castle. And then the back tower is going to be like a center uh, tower kind of piece that's going to be similar to like the gatehouse looking sort of thing. Um, I'm probably not going to do all the crenellations and everything, but I will do maybe something more like that um, in the center. The other thing is, in, on these ones here, we did a lot of birch wood as far as their... Whoa. <laughs> as far as the roofs over here, what I'm thinking about doing on this one is because I've already done the cobblestone and I'll probably mix some stone into it as well later. Um, because I've already done that, what I'm thinking about is doing the center of the roof, the middle meaty part here, as, um, as spruce. And I think that that'll make the roof look a little bit darker so that these have a slightly different and more, um, I don't know, rich kind of feel to them. Um, rich in color and hopefully rich that that leads to like rich in actual wealth uh as far as these particular people who live here so that is the goal right now what i think i'm going to do is start another time lapse and go ahead and build the roof on this sucker and see what we can uh, see if we can get that far that'd be great that'd be great but i like it a lot um my worry is that it was going to be too big but i don't think that it is just because the castle is pretty massive, uh, especially if you include both sections of it. And then also, um, yeah, I, don't, I just don't think it's overly large. So I, th I think that it's going to work nicely. Anyway, off we go. Okay, we are looking pretty gosh darn good at this point. I am pretty stinking happy. Pretty stinking happy. It definitely needs a lot of work. We definitely have to put um, a lot of the uh, a lot of the decorative items and elements in it. But I am really happy with the overall structure. Let's go ahead and go into scout mode, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So. Uh, I did finish this tower in the middle. Of course, it's all made of cracked stone bricks at the moment, so it looks absolutely terrible, and the top isn't on there. But I think that it, it doesn't look obtrusive, really. Um, in the back, it does a little bit, but what we're going to do is we're going to put some stuff um, on the back of it so that it's a little bit more detailed, like some some little window thingy mabobbers that are going to stick out. Um, anyway, I'm really liking this tower as well. I think that looks good. Of course, we need to finish the top of it. But the overall structure of this build is good. And my f my fear was that it was going to be so big that it would like dwarf the castle or look like too big in, con in uh, comparison to the castle. But I mean, if you come over here to the castle and then you look at that and then you look at this, it's definitely not too big. <laughs> and then if you look at this and you look at that <laughs> and you look at this and then you look at that, uh, yeah, not too big. So I think we're doing good as far as um, overall size. I wouldn't want to go too much bigger than this. So I think that this is probably going to be the biggest manor house that I build up here. 
but um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it overall. I think it looks really good, and I'm very pleased with how it's turning out. So the next thing that we want to do, though, is we need to go ahead and um, work on the stone a little bit and texturize it. So as you know, we texturize this, and so there's a mixture of stone, stone bricks, and uh, cracked stone bricks on that. Um, we need to do the same thing on the stone here to make it look a little bit more, um, I don't know, na natural, I guess, or organic, or fit in with the castle a little bit. Because <laughs> um, it, it, I hate it when like there's like the single texture repeated over and over again. It just drives me crazy. But anyway, um, I'm going to get on with doing that, I think. All right, there we go. The bottom section has all been retextured. Re so I think that looks pretty good. Actually, I missed this little spot. Be nice to do that. And then I finished off this end right here. It wasn't finished. That's good. And then maybe we'll do this guy right here like that. Perfect. Okay. And then um, I think that I think that I made an error when I made this thing. And what I mean by an error is, do you see how the roof line is made of cobblestone? Of course you see that. Um, I think that I should have made that out of the stone bricks and the cracked stone bricks and the regular stone. So I think I'm going to replace that. The other, uh, the other error that I made right here is that I probably should bring this out one block, uh, the roof included and everything, because um, if you notice right here, we have this sort of... Uh, the um, waddle and daub, like the white color next to this. And I think that there should be the um, the birch wood right there instead. I try not to do this where you put like two different, totally different colors next to each other. But I think in this case, it's going to work um, if I do use the birch wood. So uh, what I want it to look like is that the birch wood is um, like in the front here. And then, yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's what I'm going to do next. And I think that that will um, be an excellent, excellent way to go. So we're going to do that um, right now. OK, so I replaced just this little section right here. And I also moved that bit out. And I think that this is going to look so much better than the cobblestone. I, yeah, it's just going to look so much better. It's going to look great. It's going to look beautiful. OK, well, I have gone ahead and done all of the replacement of all that stuff and it's looking really, really good. So I also replaced uh, and textured the towers. So that one's done now. And yeah, this whole thing is just looking really, really nice. Really nice. It's looking good. I also did some of the crenellations up around there. Uh, just the little, um, little detail pieces at the tops of the towers there. And then I got this tower started up to there like that. And then I'm going to make the same spire as these towers up here on top of that one, just so that the builds around here kind of look more consistent, at least the ones that I've done. Um, waffle sticks look consistent among themselves, but we just need more of them to make sort of the area look a little bit more consistent. That's pretty cool. The next thing that I wanted to do was go ahead and put in uh, all of these details here. And I think I'm going to do the same details uh, on this as I did on the houses over there. And that is these. So basically we have the um, spruce wood fences going up the sides, going up on these uh, vertical uh, pieces here. And then we have fence gates up underneath our gables or the eaves or whatever those things are called, um, up underneath the stone part there. And then we have uh, slabs up above the windows. And then we have our little shutters. And I think that that's going to work just absolutely perfecto, perfecto schmecto. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and see how that looks. Okay, there we go. It's all done all the way around. Well, mostly done. I didn't do this end and I'll tell you why in just a second. But yeah, I got them all put in and I think it looks really, really nice. Looks really good. I tell you what, just look at that right there. 
Let's look at that right there for a minute. I love playing with shaders on. It just looks beautiful. Look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm kind of thinking about this back area here, and I like how this tower splits the two. But I don't know. I might put like a stables back here so you won't notice it anyway. Um, like a stable slash barn kind of thing. But uh, we shall see. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing. Let's get building. <laughs> I've been watching Jim Gaffigan's. Let's get cooking. I'm going to steal it. Let's get cooking. Let's get building. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. I'm stealing it. Like it. Okay. So the reason I didn't do this front part yet is because I wanted to build into it a little bit of a. I'm thinking about some stone. I've been thinking about stone. I've been thinking about having some cracked stone and some stone bricks and some stone brick stairs. And what is going on here? <laughs> there we go. And some cracked stone and stuff like that. And what I was thinking about doing was building this a little bit of a. Just a little bit of kind of like a, like a thing. Just want to build like a little thing here. Like kind of like this or something. Like that maybe, I don't know. And like this and maybe there, like that. Yes, that's good. And then I wanted to sort of, well, Actually, let's take that off and that off. Is that going to be too low? Yeah, that's going to be too low. Too low, Hex. Too stinking low. Okay. Um, then we need some of these. And what I wanted to do was kind of make a... Did I grit? Did I grit? Did I get stone stairs? No, I didn't. I didn't. In all of that fussing about in my inventory, I did not get stone stairs. There we go. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to do was just kind of make like this entryway a little bit out of stone. I'm kind of thinking about the entryway, like what do I want to do with it? And I think I've got an idea of what I want to do with it. So, yeah. And I kind of love and hate scaffolding. I kind of love it and I kind of hate it. And I'm not sure which one uh, wins as far as love and hate, but I have a love-hate relationship with it right now. Sometimes it works really great, and sometimes it's like really scaffolding. Really? <laughs> okay. Like that, and then... Um, ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. The problem is you can't hold shift while you're on it. Because shift takes you down. Like that. <laughs> and so, if I try to like sneak out to the edge, sometimes I don't know where the edge is, and then I fall off. So that's why I love it and I hate it. I love it though because it is a lot easier to use than like netherrack or something stupid like that. But um, yeah, it's also definitely a tad irritating. Okay, I don't know if I like that on there or if I just want to go with like a... Um, really? Let's throw the bricks. <laughs> that's a great idea. Something like that maybe. Uh, anyway... There we go. That's the nice part about scaffolding. You just pop it and it's done. You have to use uh, your pickaxe to make it. Mm, do I like that? I don't know for sure. <laughs> now that I have it built, I'm not 100% sure. But I think what it needs is like the interior bits. So we're going to go like this. That, and then we're gonna go like this, break that, put this in here, and then we're gonna strip all that, and then we're gonna put one more. Was that seriously all of the birch wood that I had? <laughs> That's really stupid. I'm gonna go like that then. You know what's kind of funny is it's too tall. <laughs> <laughs> okay there we go i shortened it by one and then i got some more birch wood i put one piece of birch wood there and then these 
um, columns there. I think that that works really well. Now what I'm going to do on the inside here is I'm going to eventually be putting in some stone. So I think what I'm going to do right now is just go ahead and replace this with a stone brick right there because m the majority of this down here is going to be stone brick and like a, a wool, probably like a reddish wool, I think, uh, mm -hmm. would work really well for this particular build here. Uh, the next thing that I want to do, though, is I want to finish this tower. So I'm going to go grab, actually, I have some prismarine in my inventory. I want to finish the tower. And then I want to, um, yeah, then I think I want to work on the interior of it just a little bit, like put the floor in, put some interior floors in, like the middle floors and stuff like that. And then I think um, I'm going to be very happy with, uh, with how this is turning out. Okay, we're up on the tower. We're getting it done here. This one, this section right here is three blocks tall. And then we just need another three block tall section. One, two, three. And then we switch over to these prismarine walls and we do one, two, and three. And the tower is done. Let's have a look. Uh-huh. Yep. That's what we wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. Wow, that looks really good. Looks really nice. I very much like it. Very much like it. It's a little tall. <laughs> it's a little tall, but I think I'm going to get used to it. I've just been used to seeing the the build without that tower for so long that I, I feel like it looks too tall now, but it's it's fine, actually. It's, yeah, especially from the backside, it looks really good. So um, I'm trying to get up here so I can get these stupid scaffolding blocks down. I can't believe I missed one. <laughs> All but one. What I wanted to do was to put some, just a little bit of like some like dormer looking things on the outside of this tower, but I'm not exactly sure where those should go because I'm not exactly sure like um, how the floors are gonna be laid out on the inside. So I need to work on that first before I can finish some of these exterior details. And then, ooh, also I need to finish the front of this thing, don't I? Uh, I need to do that too. Hey guys, do you think it looks weird that that is prismarine? But this is spruce. I'm thinking maybe I should do this as spruce. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Yes, I like that a lot better. It really fits in with the build a lot better, you know. I, I think that the color of the prismarine is pretty cool, but it works on the castle. But it didn't work on this thing because of the color of the roof here. So. I'm really happy with that. So uh, the next thing that I did is I went ahead and dug out the floor in here while I was kind of waiting for the, the sun to rise, uh, to be honest, because it was a little hard to see that with the sun right behind it. Anyway, um, what I've got here is I've torn out the entire floor here, and that's given me uh, a few stacks of dirt that I think I'm going to use to kind of, uh, I don't know, terraform the area a little bit. So like, for example, here we need this to come out a tad like that and like this and then we need this over here to come out a tad over here like this just to kind of uh you know make it look like the build isn't um i don't know so that you know it's not like hanging off the side of a of a hill or something there we go like that and like this do 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 Oop. what happened there <laughs> I know exactly what happened there. Ha ha. Here we are. Okay. That's my enjoying the game. I should probably say hello. Be a good neighbor. All right. Let's see. How do you do that? Oh, it's like a circle. It's like a, the, the uh, I always do the zero. It's capital O and your hand. There we go. Like that. I got a big round head, I guess. Cool. Very cool. And this part here, I'm probably going to do some sort of stone in here. <clears throat> Good, my friend. Good. There we go. And then we're going to do some of this down here. These stupid camels would move. Llamas, whatever. Because they're like, he doesn't know the difference between a camel and a llama. I've been playing some Elder Scrolls Online, and uh, my have I have a uh, a mount. If you're not familiar with that game, it's just basically like you know a guy that you can ride um, like a horse or something. But mine is a golden camel. <laughs> I 
I got it from some sort of achievement or something. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is stupid. Anyway, there we go. So I ride around on a gold, golden camel in that game. But yeah, I do enjoy that game quite a bit. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, but it is time consuming. So it's kind of like a summer thing for me because I get summers off. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's fill this in right here like that. And there we go. That's quite a bit better. Let's get rid of this nether rack. Eventually, this is going to be like um, a stone um, a stone area kind of in front here. And I think what I'm going to do is take this path and not have this path right here. And then this path here is going to be probably removed as well. And there's reasons for that. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to continue focusing on this particular house right here. But the next thing that I want to do is I want to get some red wool to put in here. Because I'd like the red wool to sort of be um, kind of like a carpet that goes throughout the area. And so I'm going to put some red wool in here. And then also I'm going to build the, the floor out of stone. And then we're going to start putting in um, some of the upper floors. And I need to choose a material. I'm either going to use oak or spruce. But I haven't decided which. Okay, so I have done some work on the inside here. I filled in the floor for the most part. Looks like I missed a block right there. That <laughs> was silly. Uh, ooh, and I missed a couple right here. Also silly. And then I built these sort of uh, tower pieces right here because what I want to do is I want to make like some archways here and here. And I think what I'm going to do is go with some spruce wood slabs for our floors in here. And the reason I'm going for that is twofold. Number one, I think that the slabs are going to look better. And number two, I have a ton of these spruce wood slabs that I just haven't used for anything. And they've just been like sitting in the uh, in my uh, box. So I think what I'm going to do is use these for our floor materials for the upper floors. And then we, we have this on the lower floors. I was going to do this red wool as carpeting down here. But I think that what I'm going to do instead is um, actually use carpet. That way it kind of texturizes it a little bit. And typically I don't like carpet, but I think it's a good choice here. And then also what I can do is I can put like some, um, some sea lanterns underneath that carpet for some extra lighting in here. And I think that that'll be really nice on the lower floors. On the upper floors, we'll have to do something else for lighting, of course. But I think on the lower floors, that will work. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good. Now, the question is, what do we want to do in here? Do we want to leave this really open and high up like that? Or do we want to close it off? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But we have thoughts like that that we need to think and we need to figure out. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, in a little bit, but what I wanted to do right now though is since I had some of this stone and cracked stone bricks in my inventory and stuff What I thought I would do is kind of create this sort of entryway area and I have an idea for it what I'd like to do so um, I'm gonna tear out this grass Kind of like that. I'm gonna leave the border of the grass because I sort of like where that border is a little bit and we need to kind of um, replace that but basically it's going to kind of uh, throw some blocks in here and just kind of see where we get. So if this is the center, we've got one, two on the side. And over here, one, two, three on the side. And I think I like three better. There we go. That's going to look good. And like that. Yes. Yeah, I think that'll work nicely. So then we're going to go here. Like that. And then maybe one here. And one here. And then one, um, maybe like that, and then like this, and stop it here. I think. I think, I think, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, so then we're going to fill this in, and we're just going to do it, uh, well, let's tear this all out first. And then we'll fill it in with some, with some stone bricks and stuff. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then what I did is I put... Uh, I built, I put, a me. what did I just say? I have no idea. Anyway, I built um, like this little stone wall in the front here. And my idea was that you would access this uh, little patio area before the door, kind of at an angle. And I think that's going to look really good like this. And kind of got inspiration from this uh, or for this idea from um, the Elder Scrolls Online the game I've been playing. 
I've been cheating <laughs> on Minecraft with another game. I know. Minecraft is kind of mad at me, but I think we'll be able to resolve our issues. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. All right. I would never cheat. What a horrible thing to do. Anyway, uh, moving on. That is what I wanted right there so that it's like, yep, that is perfecto. Perfecto. It's absolutely perfecto. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's very good that way. Very nice. Very cool. I love that. Okay. So then what we're going to do is like kind of bring our pathway sort of up there like that. Yep. That's good. And then we're going to do the same thing over here where this is going to kind of come like this. There we go. That's good. And then like that, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to have to work on these pathways another time. Uh, this is obviously too big here. But yeah, I think I think that makes me pretty happy. The only thing I hate about the pathway blocks is when you use them, you have to like replace these little things. Otherwise, it looks so weird. And then that sort of thing happens. And then, yeah. <laughs> oh, we got some home invaders. <laughs> we got some home invaders. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> I've made a very classic error. Uh, this is all a block too low. Oh my goodness. It's all a block too low. I think that I will use full blocks for this lower floor and then maybe, um, maybe the slabs for the upper floors. And the reason for that is because, um, it's just going to look weird with the full, with the slabs. So we're going to use full blocks and they need to go like right, um, they need to go like right here actually. Because, like, if you go, if I go up here, I built a little quick scaffold. Um, if you go up here, what we've got is basically, um, yeah, so it should be one block up because I want the floor actually to be this level right here so you can actually see out the windows. <laughs> and then the top floor will go like that right there. Oh, well. Dude, I hate creepers. <laughs> I really hate them. Okay, well, I have mostly completed these interior staircases like this so if you come in this way we've got this nice let's get rid of this guy right here um you've got this nice staircase right here um and then also i built these little arches and i decided to go with the arches in the center i feel like it draws you into the house a little bit better so as you come inside um it kind of draws you inwards uh, a little bit better than having a pillar right in your face so i made the archways like this and then um, I completed this staircase and I really like it. Now, this weird hole, I'm probably going to fill that in. But I was just thinking about like where some things would go on the exterior as far as some of those dormers I was talking about earlier. Um, so I just kind of cut out a few little holes in the side of our tower there. But probably what I'm going to do is build something in the back here, like a little stables that... Um, yeah, like a little stable back here. And then... Um, do some dormers up on the higher floors. Uh, yeah, so anyways, as you come up here, you're gonna come this way and then up here like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come right here and you're gonna come up here like this for this second floor. And then it's gonna start to spiral around. So basically it's gonna come up here and then you're gonna come up this way and then you're just gonna keep going up and up and up and up until you get to the top of the tower to um, be able to get to the on, onto the onto the roof section. So I think that that's going to work really well. Uh, I don't know what the heck I was doing right here. <laughs> uh, this is not how this is going to be. <laughs> what? Uh, I built this like yesterday, like yesterday in, in real life. And like, I can't remember what the heck I was thinking with this one. But it's going to go, oh, you know what? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> the stair is too wide. That's why... <laughs> The stairway is going to be two blocks wide, so it's got to go up like this and then up here. And then it's going to be like, you know, there's going to be a stair block there. But I ran out of stair blocks. And the other thing that I ran out of, you guys, is time. It's time to end this episode. We're going to have to do uh, the rest of this house or at least we'll continue working on it next time. So, yeah, but I think that we got quite a bit done. Not quite as much as I wanted to, but a lot. And I think that it's looking really awesome as far as a noble's house. And then also I should probably explain this red wool right here. Um, I wanted Waffle Stick to build one of his awesome walls around this um, estate here. So 
We're going to have this come out over here and then out over there. I'm going to build another estate here and then probably heading back that way. I'm going to build like two to three more of these kinds of estates um, around in this area. Uh, maybe terraform some of this land here to get rid of some of the stone and these awkward pathways. But yeah, it's going to be a nice, like very, um, very cool area up here, I think. And I think it's going to work super, super well. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Blockheads. Please leave a like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff that helps out the channel. But more importantly, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful, fantabulous day. And God bless.